his calendar chocolate in one go. Do you have an advent calendar? It might not be chocolate, it might be pictures, it might be a number to scroll down, but an advent calendar is all about counting down to Christmas. And there were some other people who counted down to Christmas and we're gonna hear about them in our story now and we will be back with some activities in just a minute. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? If you're like me, that just might be the best line from one of your very favorite Christmas specials ever. It really is a great question. It's not the advertisements and holiday displays and decorations. So what is Christmas all about? Maybe it's getting a lot of gifts or nailing your performance in the Christmas production. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Raising your Christmas cookie game. Watching every single holiday movie release. There's nothing wrong with any of that, but they're not what Christmas is all about. Lights, please. Christmas is about a tiny, helpless baby born to unknown parents in a small town on the edges of the Roman Empire. Christmas is about the ordinary, everyday people who got a first look at God's master plan. Christmas is about the way God loves us with a love so wild and deep that he sent his very own son to live on earth among us. When you choose to focus on what Christmas really means, others can see God at work in you. That's why celebrating Christmas is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let her be Sound. 
Good boy. Hey, what are you? <gasps> On the first day of Christmas, nobody gave to me a peppermint candy. Mm. Let's see what else is in this thing. <clears throat> All right. Ooh. Oh, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, yes, I can. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. Okay. What else? Oh, cool. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Can't eat you. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> ah, apple cider. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know anyone was in there. And now for the most important day of all. I wonder what's inside. Oh, hey, Brandon. Merry Christmas. Hey, Brandon. I know you're still out there. Brandon? Christmas. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and we're glad you're hanging out with us as we kick off this festive holiday season. Question for you, John. Hit me. Okay. Thank you. Now go ahead and ask me the question. Okay, what does your family do to kick off the holiday season? Uh, we eat rotten fish. What? Yeah, it's called lutefisk. It's kind of a nasty fish jelly. Yeah, why? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> We've just always done it. Yeah, when your nose hairs start burning with the stink of rotting fish, you know it's Christmas time with that tasty dish. My family watches Christmas movies. Oh, we do that too! It's a Wonderful Life is the perfect movie to start out with. The holidays haven't begun until Clarence gets his way. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey, you've never seen It's a Wonderful Life? It's on my list! Oh. What, what do you want, John? Uh, what, what do you want? You, 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 you want the moon? You, you, you just say the word and, I, and I'll throw a lasso around it and, and, and pull it down. <laughs> of course you'd pick a Christmas movie from the 1900s. It's a classic. It's uh -huh. one of the best movies of... The... Okay, Shh. fine. And you know what? What Christmas movie would you start with? Ah! Oh. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. La 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 okay. okay, Elf is fine, but it's really more of a kid's movie. What? It is. It, I mean, if you knew real Christmas movies like oh, I do, oh, oh, you I know Christmas movies more than you, I bet. Oh, well, well, we'll see about that. It's time to play Name That Christmas Movie. <laughs> bah, humbug. That's easy. The Muppet Christmas Carol. Or any version of A Christmas Carol. <sighs> Anybody want to play a reindeer game? Like Monopoly? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Not a movie. It was TV. A TV movie? I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. I don't know, something old. White Christmas. Or if you want to get technical, the song originated in the 1942 film Holiday Inn. Also, uh -huh. with Bing Crosby. It burns. 
You look like a deranged Easter Bunny. Christmas story. I'm a prince, but I don't want anyone to know because my evil twin brother who works as a chef at the North Pole might hop on the Christmas train to stop me from finding my true love. If she even has time for love while balancing her successful newspaper column in New York City and an architecture firm in Los Angeles. <gasps> Only have one and a half hours to meet the girl, fall in love, save the world, and discover the true meaning of Christmas. I have no idea. Really? It's so simple. It's every Hallmark Christmas movie ever. It's Bible story time with Kellen. What's going on, guys? Oh, we're just discussing Christmas movies. I love Christmas movies. Jingle All the Way is the best. I'll know if you move, because I have the ears of a snake. Classic. I agree. Hey, so what you got for us today? Well, today we're setting up the entire Christmas story. It's like a preview of what's to come. Did you say preview, Kellen? I did. Like a movie preview? Well, we've got your back, Kellen. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Around 700 years before Jesus was born, there was a prophet named Isaiah. Now, a prophet was a person God chose to be his messenger, and they were often given a glimpse of what the future would be like. Here's what Isaiah wrote. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us, and he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called Father who lives forever and Prince who brings peace. The child Isaiah wrote about was... Wait, Kellen, no, no, no spoilers. We've, we've got a preview. Something like this, Kellen? Over 2,000 years ago, in the city of Nazareth, a young girl named Mary was visited by an angel. But do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You're going to get pregnant and have a son. You must call him Jesus, and he will be called the Son of the Most High God, and his kingdom will last forever. Mary may have been frightened, but God had a plan. What God says, he will always do. Okay, good, now I can tell you. When Isaiah wrote about the son God was giving us, he was really writing about Jesus. Think about how incredible that is. 700 years before Jesus came, God promised that he would come. Continue. After an emperor's decree and a long journey, Mary and the man she would marry, Joseph, found themselves in the city of Bethlehem. But no one expected what happened next. With no rooms available, Mary gave birth to her baby in a place fit for animals. The baby boy was wrapped in cloths and laid in a manger. Jesus is the Son of God. Isaiah wrote that he would be a ruler, a mighty God, a father, a prince. No one expected the Savior to be born with animals. But God has always done things that are unexpected. You're right about that, Kellen. Thank you. Because God had more surprises in store. God sent an angel to lowly shepherds keeping watch over their sheep. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. So buckle your seatbelts, because ready or not, here comes Christmas. Wow. Way to go, guys. Thank you. Doesn't that get you excited about Christmas? For sure. Just think of what Isaiah's words meant for those people years ago. They'd been hoping for a Savior, so God made them a promise that he would send one. And it was Jesus. Yep. God always keeps his promises. So there's always a reason to have hope. That's a great way to looking at it. Thanks. Now, thank you guys for those previews. I'm thinking of watching some Christmas movies right now. Jingle all the way, here I come. Put that cookie down. No. What was that? As I'm from Jingle All The Way. That was... Oh, yeah. Reveal the question. What are you hoping for? What are you hoping for this Christmas, John? 
Uh, maybe a little more peace and understanding. Ooh, good start. More calm and civil debates and discussions. That would be nice. And then some new headphones. All right. <laughs> we'll see you next week for more Christmas. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And that was the So-and-So Show. It was. waiting really hard especially when I know something's due to come but the advent calendars help on this one we put a character up each day to add to the scene at the top that reminds us about the bible story that is why we celebrate Christmas and this one counts down the day so it tells me we've got 19 days to go till Christmas so still quite a way off for me I don't know about you now Kellen told us about a bible story today he told us about a verse that was written by a man called Isaiah. And Isaiah was a prophet. That's just a messenger. God would give him a message and he would pass it on to the people. And a lot of his messages would tell about something that was due to happen in the future. So he told the people about what was going to happen linked to the Christmas story that we still celebrate today. 700 years before it was going to happen. Now that would need a very big advent calendar, wouldn't it? But I wonder if you can remember the things that were written about in that verse. So I've got some things in my sack here to help us remember. Let's have a look. What have we got first? Okay, we've got a doll. What might that bit of the verse be? That's right, a child was born. Okay. What's next? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, what is this? An ear. What would that remind you of? There was a bit in the verse that said there was going to be a wonderful counsellor, a wonderful advisor, and they are really good at listening and then giving advice. So whoever was going to come, whatever this child was that was going to come, were going to be good listeners. Okay, what next? What is this? Okay, <gasps> a crown. Which bit of the verse does that link to? Can you remember? That's it, Prince of Peace. The child that was born was going to be a Prince of Peace. Let's have a look. Okay, I think I might need my muscles for this one. Okay, right, they are heavy. Let's do some exercises. Which bit of the verse might this remind you of? A mighty God. I'm going to put that down there, not on the sheep. OK, a mighty God. Wow. OK, and lastly, what have I got in here? Wow, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Wow, which bit was that? That's it. An everlasting father whatever was coming whoever was coming is everlasting not gonna finish they are some amazing characteristics aren't they of a person that was going to come to save the world wow but do you know what those people that were told those things they didn't know how long they were going to have to wait they just knew that this was going to happen in the future it could be days away could be weeks away months away years away centuries away wow 
In fact, it was 700 years in the future. That was a long time to wait, wasn't it? But do you know what? The fact that God had told them that this was going to happen gave them hope for the future. It gave them something to hold on to and look forward to. So it was a good thing to know in advance, even though it took many generations, many people telling their children who had children, who had children, who had children, who had children, who had children and they each told their children this story of something to look forward to. So just like we share Christmas with our children and we teach them about this story of a baby, that's always the last one to go up, a baby being born and how amazing that baby is going to be as they grow up and become these incredible things. Lord, we just, is it is incredible that these things are going to happen and we know about them and we share them with our children and other people. Our Advent calendars help us do that, don't they? They help us think about the future. They help us give hope for our futures. So I don't know about you, but I'm hoping that next year will be better than this year. I'm hoping that next year we will be able to get on top of this virus and we will be able to go back to having contact with our wider families and our friends in a, in a more what we would see as normal way. So that's my hope looking ahead. What are you hoping for? As you go and you use your advent calendars, however they work, whatever they look like, I want you to remember God's promise. Remember each time you go and open a door or take out a chocolate or wind down a number. I want you to think about what we've talked about today. Think about the amazing things that God has promised for our future. Let's pray before we finish. Lord Jesus, thank you that you gave those people through Isaiah a message of hope. And Lord, I thank you that the Christmas story that we remember each Christmas about you sending your son to be born on earth gives us hope for our futures too. So Lord, be with us as we count down to Christmas this year. In Jesus' name, amen. So if you want to know more about this amazing baby and why Christmas is so special to us, carry on watching the next few wave sessions to find out. But for now, I'm saying bye-bye and have a good week.